The Loud House and Casa Grandes have had some seriously amazing pranks. Prank battle begin! But which tricks would score the highest? It's time to rank the prank from 1 to 10. Lincoln has lived through enough of Luann's pranks to know to avoid them at all costs. So the man with the plan decided to prank the prankster by capturing her the day before April Fools. <laughs> Really? Wow, that was easier than April I Fools! We aren't letting you out until April 2nd. Yes! 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 Guys, that was a great plan, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crating for this moment all my life. <laughs> well, better crate than never. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a crate. We knocked one point off for too many puns, but otherwise, genius prank. Wait. <laughs> We're doomed. Luann escaped, and now she's gonna be mad! How could this have happened? She's a black magic woman, dude! I gotta get my money back for these. <laughs> <gasps> to be fair, nothing can stop Luann. Solid try, Lincoln, but the prank is ranked a five. Luann is without a doubt the ultimate prankster here with years of professional pranking experience. It's Pranksmas Eve, and I'm just bubbling with excitement. And a fresh pair of undies. So when the family thought they were being clever by hiring stunt doubles to take the prank punishment for them, well, it's it's not too pretty. Ah, it's old Lincoln. What's he doing? Did he get lost? <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, it's me, Lincoln. I can't get through another day of school without telling you you are the center of my universe, and I love you. Oh no. That's what you get for messing with the best. This prank is ranked a perfect 10. Ronnie Ann has a pretty impressive prank history with Lincoln and is a total prank pro. Reconnaissance. On it. Sid, those pranks were for Ronnie Ann. Sorry. Ow. However, when Sid wanted to join in on Ronnie Ann and Lincoln's prank anniversary, things got a little complicated when they thought she couldn't keep up. Oh, no, you don't. Squeeze, Lincoln. Squeeze! Uh, it's not working! Barf up my sister! Sid, I'm so sorry. We never should have said you were wrecking our prank anniversary. If we just included you, none of this would have happened. It's okay, Ronnie Ann, because you've just been changed. Wow, Sid can totally hang with the pros, and this prank is ranked a perfect 10. Back when Lori was a senior in high school, she got a little carried away trying to have the perfect send-off for college. <gasps> Golf team! Swim team! Maybe we should just leave. No way! We need a selfie with the acorn. <sighs> Uh, this is my best polo! When she recruited the help of Liam to help her pull off her senior prank, things didn't exactly go according to plan. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. They got their weekly greasing this morn. <laughs> no problem. I've totally got this. <laughs> no, 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 no! They need their numbers or the prank doesn't work! Get them! Uh, oh, come here, Come <laughs> We can salvage this. Maybe trying a little too hard, Lori, but your heart is in the right place, so this prank is ranked a seven. In a moment of weakness, Lynn Sr. made a deal and helped Luann pull off some epic pranks on the family. Can't really blame him. I wouldn't want to get pranked that hard either. It's okay, Dad. You're not the bad guy here. Luann is. No, no, son. I'm just as guilty. I went along with her. But maybe it's not too late to redeem myself. What do you think of putting Operation Find Our Family and Get Back at Luann for causing years of emotional damage and also think of a shorter name for this operation into action? I'm in. With a new operation underway, it's finally time to give the ultimate prankster a taste of her own medicine. That should do it. Frank is ranked a perfect 10, but at what cost? You may have won this time, but next year, I'm gonna stop going easy on you and give you all an April Fool's you'll never forget! Especially you, Dad! <laughs> 
The case of the mystery prankster was interesting when Luann had to help figure out who was framing her on April Fool's Day. Shoot, Charles. It's not safe in here. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Check this out. Uh... Huh? But... Who would have thought sweet little Lily would disguise herself as Charles and reveal her ingenious plan to prank the entire family? Wow, she truly is a pranking genius! No! <laughs> I gotta shut down the console. Lincoln, distract her. Luan, <laughs> hurry! Those little teeth are so sharp! Oh. Dang it, should have seen that coming. That's really impressive, Lily. Top tier plan, and she even got Luann to come out of prank retirement. This prank is ranked a 10. Carl has a bit of a mischievous side and won't easily left behind with a babysitter. Thank you so much for coming last minute, Miranda. Oh, it's no trouble at all. We're gonna have fun watching a movie. As long as it's not a scary movie. I just can't handle those. <gasps> <laughs> Probably shouldn't have revealed that she doesn't like scary movies. That gives Carl a lot to work with. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Oh, no! Not again! Life-changing! Oh! Ah, werewolf! Ah! Huh? Huh? Here's Jesus! Ah! P-40 Warhawk, here we come! Those results speak for themselves and rank this prank as a solid 10. Luna got rightfully a little upset when her siblings read through her diary without her permission. To get back at them, Luna wrote in some new entries to send her siblings on a wild goose chase all over town to try to stop her from causing mayhem. Stop! Throw your life away! Huh? What are you guys doing here? We, we read, read your, your diary. diary! You what? We're really sorry for invading your privacy, and we told get it if you hate us forever. But we couldn't let you ruin your life! <laughs> Duh! I knew you dudes were snooping in my diary. That's why I made up this whole rebellious act. What? Another amazing prank with a life lesson to boot. Well done, Luna. This prank is ranked a nine. Lola isn't the biggest fan of being ignored. Lincoln! It's three o'clock! You failed me! You know what happens when you make Lola which is why she taught Lincoln a lesson about the importance of listening to your siblings by tricking them into helping his sisters all day. So all that stuff you guys made me do today, that was all made up? Yep. I can't believe you guys pranked me like that. You had it coming, little bro. You can't just ignore us. We're your family. And remember, you're not the only one who has to live in a noisy house. We all do. Very funny and clever with a life lesson at the end. Lola's prank is ranked at a solid eight. Bobby has also been the victim of years of pranking from his sister, Ronnie Ann, who just happens to be a legendary prankster herself. Wait, don't go in there. We set up a prank for Carl, CJ, and Carlitos. Uh-oh, feel sorry for them. I've been nailed by more of Ronnie Ann's pranks than I can count. I still can't grow hair here. Remind me not to cross you. So when the opportunity arose to get a little revenge on Ronnie Ann, Bobby set out to do some sabotaging. Can we stand? We have been squatting for an hour and I did not wear the right shoes for this. Ugh. Wait, what? Our, our prank, it's gone. They must have snuck in here and taken it down. I still can't figure out how they... Uh-oh. Oh, no. oh, 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 <laughs> they stole our prank and used it on us. Pretty solid retaliation, Bobby. But are you sure you got the last laugh? I hate to admit it, Bobby, but I may have misjudged you. Tonight, you have proven yourself not completely useless. Aw, oh, thanks, Carl. That means a lot. It's Ronnie Ann. <gasps> She's headed to the Mercado. I better get down there. She thinks I'm still at work. <laughs> Water, though? Is that all you got? Dad's pickle juice. Pickle juice? Is that all you got? Actually, no. Carlota, release the catnip. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> ah! 
After that amazing retaliation, this prank has to be ranked a 6. Wow, that was some serious pranking and we've only scratched the surface. Be sure to tune in next time to catch your favorite pranks, only on Nick. Aww, the end of April Fools always makes me feel a little blue. <laughs> Get it?